We're here in Phnom Penh, the capital city of Cambodia, and we're going to spend the day visiting Tul Sleng, which was the main prison, prison and torture facilities used by the Khmer Road uh, in the 1970s. So it should be a really interesting day. Blood like splashed on the ceiling, same torture. There used to be classrooms for kids, and they were turned into interrogation rooms where people were tortured. And it's just, it's sickening to see it. The photos in every room of the bodies that were found just were decomposed, they were just rotten, lying on the beds, and you can still see the beds. And, you can see blood in the roof and on the on the walls. It's just it's just disgusting. It's sickening. I didn't think it would be this graphic, you know. This is disgusting. The blood is still here. What are your own blood? Everything is the way it was. They changed nothing. It really makes me feel sick. I can feel my stomach turning. It's just, um, it's crazy. You just see photos of photos of photos, just thousands of them of all the victims here. Babies, old people, teenagers, all ages, just women, men. There are monks here, there are all types of people, teachers, who are tortured and killed. And you still see the blood dried on the floor and you see marks from bloody hands on the walls. It's, it's, it's really disgusting and terrifying. But it's important to see it. It makes me understand, I can understand better now what Cambodia has been through and um, what, what's, what lies in people's hearts, you know. Many of the guys here have uh, family members, like their parents, who were killed here. And it feels very, very personal. It's a very in intimate experience, and um, in some of these cells, it's just like you can't you can't breathe. The air is so thick, and just looking out over this beautiful park, and you really, you knowing that people were tortured and burnt to death, it's it's really really heartbreaking.